Just finished epoxying the garage floor here behind me. Turned out great. So let's see how that was done. Well, today we're gonna epoxy this floor. It's gonna come up to the baseboards with a code. That's why they're not finished. So let's get started. As you can see, first up is grinding the floor. Did a great job, no doubt. Okay, we're just finishing up the last section of the floor. And then vacuuming it up. Again, using that HEPA filter. And then these small cracks we just fill with epoxy. And this is just making sure the driveway stays clear. And wiping on the uh, baseboard areas and all that with some acetone. And filling in those joint seams. And along the baseboards here, we're going to fill that in too with the joint compound. And taping it all off. And we might as well blow it out to one last go round. Here, fixing up the product. And we start with the baseboard here with the epoxy and belt. And even getting in the small areas like this, we do that by hand. And doing those control seams. So now we're just doing a squeegee of the epoxy, doing a quarter of the garage at a time. And we start rolling it out. We'll roll this way and then Go north and south. I'm going to throw the flakes on. And clean up any of the loose flakes. So we start on now on section two. Doing the last and final section now.
And once all the flakes are down, we just start taking off the tape. Well, here's the finished floor before the top coat goes on. The guys came back, it was two and a half hours later. And starting to scrape off the excess flakes. So it dried two and a half hours. and blow off any of the final remnants of the chips. And we start putting on the top coat. Basically the same process as the epoxy. And there's our finished product. Nice job. It goes so well with the cabinets. Nice clean edge too. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on another project. So here's our products that we're going to be using. And here's the chips we'll be using. And the top coat.